is Miles and I've been writing books for children and teachers all around the world for many years. I have over a hundred published books including stories, fact books and activities for children learning English. Early years teaching is vital. If children learn the building blocks of language, phonics and vocabulary while they're young, they'll have a firm foundation for primary grade learning. They'll have the tools to develop not only their reading and writing, but also communication and comprehension. And in their early years, children will quickly discover that learning is fun and empowering and opens the door to a whole world of knowledge. I'm excited about this series, First Steps to Early Years English. It's built around key and core skills. It's a really easy to use resource at home as well as school. Each book provides ample teaching notes with lots of guidance in their introductions. Most lessons also offer extra specific supporting notes too, so parents as well as teachers will find it easy to use. These are the two books I've written. And I'd like to offer a few ideas on how teachers and parents might use them. Do, however, read the introduction, which offers additional in-depth suggestions. First, this is level two for children aged three and a half to four and a half. This is level three for children aged four and a half to six years. They follow on from level one book, which is for younger children. First, we recommend you work through the activities in sequence. If you're using this book at home, try to find a quiet space where your child can concentrate. Make each learning session fun and part of each day. In advance of each activity, check what you want the child to achieve. Read the instructions and look at the teacher's notes at the bottom of the page too. Next, a core part of these books is reading and phonics. Matching letters to the sounds needs practice. Children aren't expected to be able to read the instructions for these activities, but the activities themselves will provide steady reading progression. As the children learn and revise letter sounds and graphemes throughout the activities, they will develop a widening vocabulary. Sounding out and blending the sounds is an important method in reading. For example, on page 29, the children are asked to read simple words. Encourage the children to read out each letter before blending or reading the whole word. For example, Sound out the letter sounds first. K, A, T. Then blend. Cat. The children will learn how two or more letters can make one sound. For example, on page 47, ship. Sh, I, P, ship. I hope too that you, the teachers and parents, will enjoy using these activities as well and gain great satisfaction from seeing children take their first steps to learning English. Thank you.